start this page so here we go see how this how beautiful this website is looking right you have your everything here you can go to switch to any pages also if you have you can click on order now I don't think it is going to work okay you can access this also access various pages so like this how beautiful this page looks like right so so let's get started we will see how we can host our personal application on AWS EC2 instance uh, what will what is we are going to do into this project okay so basically we will create a EC2 okay on AWS what will be the image I will choose I will choose Amazon AMI so if you are a beginner try to do the same thing what I am doing okay let's choose the a Amazon AMI Okay, we will create the AWS AWS EC2, and in this AWS AWS server, I will do what I will install HTTPD. Or if you are heard, if you have heard of, of Apache, right? And we will see apart from that how we can enable enable or disable the service. Okay, like you have to restart the services in order to make it work. Okay. Apart from that, we will see from the security group perspective, or you can say networking firewall perspective, how we can troubleshoot. We will see basically troubleshooting. Okay. So in simple word, okay, we will see so many things, but I will conclude in simple word. I am going to create a EC2 instance with Amazon AMI in which I will try to host a application, my personal application. So how can we do that? So once you will create this application and you will share with share this IP to anyone, they will be able to access your application, you know. So let's let's start with the project implementation. So first thing is you need to create a AWS server. Let's go to services. Currently I am in reason. Let's try to revise the concept as well. I'm in reason US S21 A. Click on the services. You go to this EC2. Let's try to create a server. So there is a test server already running here, but let me create another server so that I will show you how we can make it work. So you can name it anything, web server. And as per the prerequisite, I told you to use this Amazon Linux. Okay, I'm choosing the latest one. Make sure you are choosing this R64 into x x Okay, you can choose T2 Micro as well for this project because this is just a sample type of application. Okay, and here you can choose your keys as well if you have. So I'm going to choose one of the keys. If you don't have, you can click on this and you can create it as well. Okay, you can once you will create it, you can refresh here. You will get the that particular key. This will help you to connect to the particular EC2 instance you need whenever you need terminal access this will this will help you to access okay like you have uh, add username and password so username will be your uh, I will show you like uh, Amazon or EC2 user and the password is going to be this key guys okay now coming to the network setting so I will leave it as it is SSH we need why SSH we need because we want to get the terminal access of the server okay secure cell and now uh, I will keep this as 8 GB itself okay now everything is fine then we can click on launch instances so this is very very important form guys I have already told you uh, into one of the video complete overview I have given okay this looks simple but there are many more things you can do here okay let's click on launch instances and wait until and unless it will not show you the success message before this if you will click it will not get created sometime I have observed so once you will get this message click on this EC2 instance okay and here you can refresh it so here you can see the instance state currently it is in pending state so we here we have to wait until this is uh, ready okay apart from that you have to wait until the status status check is going to be two out of two okay when it will come into running state it means you would be able to SSH to the server okay when it will come two by two then only you any application you are running you could be able to access okay it is for application side and this is for just to access the EC2 instance okay so right now how do we can connect just select this click on connect when I will click on this 
EC2 instance connect so from here only I will try to connect okay or what else I can do I can take this uh, such client for that I have to put the key right whatever I have so let's do this a uh, simple let's choose the simple way I have already shown you four ways how to connect to this EC2 instance how we do how we uh, as a DevOps engineer they, we should know those all ways as well okay okay so here we go here we have our this Linux running okay this was the very very simplest way to connect to this EC2 instance so first and foremost thing what you have to do you have to be a super user guys so do so now I have the power of doing everything okay now what can I do first thing I have to do whenever you create a new server first thing you have to do you have to update the server so dependency it is saying dependency is resolved no any nothing to do means it is already updated correct now first thing what we have to do we have once our server is ready what we have to do we have to install httpd so for that the command is yum install httpd hyphen y so this will take some time to install your httpd once this is done let's check the status okay either this service we have installed is running or not how we can check that so for that you have command like system ctl status status and what is the service name httpd right so it is saying httpd sorry i think i didn't mistake httpd so you can see it is currently inactive right so it means you it is installed but you would not be able to access this you know the web page right you would not be able to access the web page so uh, leave it I will show you something it's called troubleshooting as well here how we can how we will come to know like what are the things we should take care about in order to uh, you know in order to uh, troubleshoot the thing why my application is not accessible why my application is not running okay so now once so think like once we have installed HTTPD we have checked the status now what I am going to do I am going to do what first I am going to create a directory so simple command is mktir make directory temp okay so make directory temp and once we are here we can go to this temp directory so I am I will bring a separate you know a separate session for Linux command as well the same way I have uh, I have uh, you know I have created for AWS CLI okay now once I have created a directory what we have to do you have to go to a website guys I will put the link into this description that is called free CSS something just try to search for this free CSS.com and here we will check for any website template okay so you can suggest me which is looking good for you Mm -mm. this is looking good right so this looks good for me so what you have to do here to right click on this and you have to click on copy link address okay and this is what the this jar file this is going to be a jar file basically that I am going to download into my EC2 so for that you have wget command this will help you to you know download the packages from internet okay so see this is the, this is the link once I will hit it has downloaded the gold dot zip for me all right now what I will do how I will check this either it's downloaded or not for that you have to run a simple command ls hyphen lrt it is here right the gold zip now uh, I can't run the zip file I have to unzip this how can I unzip that simply write the unzip command and put the command name done now once you will do ls hyphen l lrt again you have the this folder let's get into the folder okay and let's do ls so these are the files you have lrt for more description so these are the file you have guys okay you have downloaded from the s3 so in this way only a developer develops his code and give it to you okay and it is as a DevOps engineer your responsibility is to 
run the code make the code available so that end user would be able to access this code now once you have untarred or unzipped the folder what else you have to do you have to do what you have to do what this is very important if you are running apache so what you have to do here you know you have to copy copy everything all the files to at a certain location where slash www slash html when you will get this location when you will install httpd then only you will get this location let's check if we have that let's go back to the terminal okay and here let's do see what is currently present into this where www html we have that right and there is nothing there is nothing okay so let's go back again So once you are here, go to the folder and here what you will do, you will copy everything, okay. You will copy everything or you can say you can move everything you have to that particular folder what we have seen. Move everything where, where, www and html folder. Then we have moved everything there. Let's check it again okay or you can check from here also where www.html without going there you can check correct now once you have copied or moved every file to the location of the httpd or the web server what else you have to do let's check the ip guys once i have copied i would be able to access this application okay now i am heading toward the you can say um, uh, troubleshooting. Let's run this IP. Okay, so it is loading, right? It is loading. So you first thing it can be, uh, it can be like I have not exposed the HTTPD, HTTP, right, into the security group. Okay. So if you are a beginner, if you don't know about security group, security group is something which allows or disallow the incoming and outgoing traffic based on the port. So for HTTP, HTTP Apache, you need HTTP port to be open, right? That is a T. So how I can add that into my port? How I can allow that? So this is my web server. Go to security. See, this is your security group. Click on that. And here inbound rule into inbound rule you have to edit this you have to add http you can allow all traffic as well but let's follow the best practices http and here i will choose anywhere okay and let's you can in this way only you can add a mode also like let's add for https as well anywhere save the rules so like this you can add okay so now can i access my application let's try so it is trying to access but it still it is not able to access correct so what could be the second issue we have uh, we have downloaded the executable we have placed the executable but my service is running or not we already have checked right so let's check again systemctl status httpd it is dead it is not running so first thing you have to do you have to enable this system enable httpd so it will create us you know same link here so let's check the status now system ctl status after enabling uh, you have to start it also let's check the status first httpd it is still inactive so after enabling this what we have to do we have to 
uh, we have to start the service system ctl start httpd and now when we will try to check the status so you can see it is active and running correct now when i will try to restart this page so here we go see how this how beautiful this website is looking right you have your everything here you can go to switch to any pages also if you have you can click on order now i don't think it is going to work okay you can access this also access various pages so like this how beautiful this page looks like right so this is how you can host your web server or web application on ec2 instance so let's get back to the another service